Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. EA has had an all-time mistake, guys, with the brand new Winter Wild Cards promo, especially with the icons. We have to talk about that, and honestly, there is just so much to cover from content that did drop yesterday, but also content that didn't get dropped yet that maybe we'll see in the next couple of days. But overall, I'm leaving yesterday's content feeling a little bit underwhelmed, and I'm hoping that does not continue. And I hope that it doesn't continue today and that it turns around with our first Winter Wild Cards icon player SBC that we already know about, but of course, more evolutions that could be dropping as well. So if you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's content and try to do it in a way that is not going to take us 30 plus minutes. But we're going to start with objectives because there was a lot that was going on in here and also some things that you might be confused about. I'll direct your attention to the right places on the game to let you know where to get those stuffs completed. But first thing we had is the winter daily play. EA dropped this during Black Friday, the daily play objectives, maybe even during Radioactive. I don't like it that it's three games per day. If you're busy during the holiday period, it does not lend itself into your favor. But if you're not busy, if you've got time to grind, this is nice. You get a 75 plus player pick, two of those and a premium gold players pack for playing those games. And then you do get some XP and some decent rewards along the six days that you have to get this done. And then a 100k pack at the end. I mean, hey, playing a game every day, you get rewarded for it in an extra way. I am so down for that. Now, also, we had some random Nike mad ready objectives like this was the first promo of the year and now it's made its way back uh at the end of the calendar year but guys to get the kit you may be wondering where do i get the phantom kit home and away it is in the store and it's not just sixty thousand coins this time it is ninety thousand coins each kit is forty five thousand coins separately to get yourself 350 xp for both the home and the away objectives now you don't need a kit to get this one done which also gives out a good amount of xp looks like 700 xp for that in total so that is nice but that's kind of the situation there but evidently if you buy the kits you can unlock this other group objective which i don't know uh it's gonna unlock in five days so you have to buy the kit in a certain amount of time i guess we can wait and see what it looks like then buy the kit if, the, if that objective looks really good on top of what they've already dropped so you don't have to spend the money on the kit just yet now we did have one of the leaked objective players dropped yesterday it was jonathan baba four star four star medium medium but rapid plus really solid looking card really easy to complete i also love that of course he changes nationality to ivory coast but there's a french flair uh part of the objective so GGZA, but it is pretty easy to do. We get some decent packs and it is a nice card. So that was the objective content that was dropped yesterday. Now we're going to go straight to evolutions because this was one of the things we were hyped for, right? Remember the whole Kyle Walker situation that we talked about in yesterday's video? Well, unfortunately, we did not get the Kyle Walker Evo as it is so called. We had the Like a Rock evolution, which I'm going to be honest, I didn't know there was going to be a specific evolution card for winter wild cards that car design looks sick i'm a fan of that and i hope we get a lot more evos as it sounds like we are this evolution is the one that pedri fits into that trent fits into i've got trent in my club he's one of the more popular players from this one it's not that crazy of an upgrade you get an upgrade to um you get an upgrade to pace plus one three passing two dribble um, a pretty big defensive and physical boost though you get plus five physical and plus what is that? Six defense. So a pretty sizable boost in the defense and the physical departments there. But what I'm really noticing is for this Evo, some of the most hyped cards are midfielders. Kamavinga, which is shown there on the screen, that looks like a pretty solid Kamavinga. There's so many Evo versions of him so far this year, of course, as always. But Trent, if only this gave more pace, this would be a great Evo for Trent. Boosts his passing up even more. Defense and physical looks decent. Uh, Bentancor is a double Evo. If you did him in the Tough It Up, he looks pretty sick as well. But then if you take a look at like foot.gg for the Evo, it's just so many cards that are in here that are like multiple, multiple version Evo cards. Some of them have really crazy passing stats. Like there was one guy in here that had like 99 passing. Uh, Cambiasso, Juve left back, who can also play left mid. Like that looks like a pretty crazy card if you still have detail oriented. So I just feel like this Evo is one that is kind of decent for like a multiple version chain evolution unless you just want to get yourself an upgraded ver version of Kamavinga. So I don't really have too much to say about it, other than it's just, it's okay. And I really like that we're having a card design for the Winter Wild Cards Evos. And of course, we are supposed to get more Evos. But since we didn't get the Kyle Walker one yet, 
Look at this, man. He was all the way up extinct at 20,000 coins, 21,000 coins, his max price. Yesterday, right before content, the Evo did not come out. He went down to 13K. He's probably going to rise back up into today on Saturday as people will be looking for that Evo once again as it could be dropping. Now, let's go to SBCs and talk about kind of the craziness that went down on SBCs because there was some good stuff. There was some stuff that was a bit overpriced, and this hole that falls in that overpriced category, in my opinion, but... It is a hullet. Guys, 19 squads for a hullet. I just got done completing, or a couple weeks ago got done completing, the 92 Mbappe. It was kind of nice to be done with a big craft like that. I know some people really like to be crafting a really expensive SBC like this when they're in the game. It gives them something to grind, to craft. And there is a lot of fodder that you can get to get this done. But this hullet card is 2.7 million coins to complete. And that's with SBC fodder on the middle tier dropping a lot yesterday even on some of the higher tiers like 88 rated cards we're going to talk about this at length but the lightning rounds yesterday 88s were under 20k 87s are 12,000 coins 86s are 7k they're down so low after all the supply yesterday this SBC being 2.7 is probably on the lower end he's probably going to end up being more expensive unless higher rated fodder drops off which I doubt that it would because it's in high demand is what people don't have um got yeah, 31% upvote for this hullet card like, it is a nice card. It really is. He has the Press Proven Plus playstyle. I did the loan version yesterday to try him out because I don't use Hullet that often, and he does feel really good. I just feel like the SBC should be, like, 2 mil or 1.9 mil. I think it's just too many SBCs to make this price what it is. But also, I think EA realized that people will do this because it is a cheaper version of Hullet, and that's going to excite people. So if you want a version of Hullet that will be in your team, uh, for a long time. This is a decent card. It is a good card. He's high, high work rates. It's a massive change. You can play center back. It just feels like it's a bit too expensive. And some people say he doesn't quite feel like regular Hullet in game. He feels just a little bit, I don't know what it is with his body type or whatever, but I will say he is pretty fun to use. And I have tried him out for a couple games as a loan and he was nice, but it, I don't want to start crafting an SBC. It's going to cost that much that I'm not like all in and like really wanting to get. And guys, you may look at the stats and say, Nate, those Hullet stats don't even look that sick. Hullet always plays like on his own other level in game. He could have like literally 80s across the board, just 80 even, and his card would still feel pretty good. So Hullet is always good. That's an SBC you kind of have to make your mind up about. And then we also have Martinelli, who got a five-star skill boost. And he also has the technical plus um play style he's got finesse shot he's got rapid quick step flare and trivella it is a good card but again it just feels a little bit expensive it is a nice boost and i guess ea are maybe overpriced these cards a little bit because they just know that we're going to be getting fodder so much fodder from objectives and from sbcs like the 83 times 10 they know they can overprice it a little bit because of that but I think I look at this Martinelli card, and with the way his body type is in game, I think I'd rather have the Rafinha card that's in packs. But it's up to you. This is a decent card, but none of the SBCs yesterday, specifically Martinelli or Hullet, really like hit different or like we had high expectations, right? And they really didn't deliver to those high expectations. Now, the other SBCs that we had, we have an upgrade SBC, guys, that you may want to actually look into and not skip over. It is the daily tradable winter challenge. Every single day, you can get a 45k pack tradable with all the cards that are in packs, with uh, fodder being needed. And I don't know, I mean, the chance of packing something here is not that great. Let's be honest, the pack away for this promo doesn't look that insane. But this is a pretty easy SBC to do. It's actually on footbins, 5,000 coins. Now, I will say, since it's 24 chemistry and stuff like that, if you go in here to the completed challenges and look, it's actually going to be really, really good to trade with, with solution trades. Some of these random non-rare golds, most likely, as you see in the solutions, will probably fluctuate a good amount of price. Think back to the beginning of the year when we did um, the advanced SBC solution trading type stuff. I think there's opportunities to make coins with that this week. If you're on a low budget, maybe if you're just starting the game, those player prices will fluctuate as there will be people doing those every single day, probably around the content time. So definitely keep an eye out there. And we also had the refresh. I guess technically it was a re-release, but is the 83 plus team of the week. Same requirements. And oh boy, is this needed because we needed this team of the week player pick so that we could continue doing the daily refreshes of the 83 times 10. I opened all my 83 times 10s. The best one that I opened, I had Renard and I packed Zaha from Impacts. And I think I had another walkout in there as well. Some people were saying they felt like 
that these were nerfed. But I'm going to be honest, they felt kind of the same to me with the Winter Wild cards coming into packs and the team of the group stage going out. It didn't seem like they were super nerfed, to be honest. But um, there's not too many cheap Winter Wild cards that you can pack anyway at a low at a low budget with a high pack weight. So that's kind of that. Um, now, I do want to say the team in packs, I think this is also just nice it's just decent and that's I, that's the word that i kept saying yesterday on stream and i caught myself saying this team is nice this spc is nice it's decent everything was like six or seven out of ten but there wasn't anything with a wow factor right and the upgrade upgrades on some of these cards are really mid as well some of them are really cool with position changes like marcus urente left wing right wing with whipped pass right dibala finally got a four star weak foot war a card right rafinha with five star skills i think i'd rather have this card than the martinelli completely honest I'm not a spurs fans take just a take from rafinha is always really meta he's also got five star skills and is going to be an insane card alex morgan here's what i mean by the upgrades being really mid plus one and a couple plus twos and like no like we needed a 91 or 92 rated alex morgan with like 87 pace 92 shooting boost up that passing a little bit more maybe add in a couple more play styles here like i don't i don't know still has finesse plus which makes her card really meta but that's just such a small upgrade from her base gold 89 um you know that's how i felt for a lot of these some of them are cool though right i mean grimaldo being center mid that is a cool card he can also play left back still but his card is formatted 100 percent for a center mid item Eze with the 99 passing wynaldum with the 99 physical cherokee's 5-5 balde is very hyped enzo fernandez looks decent as well um vvd this one ea is got jokes for this vvd has secondary position of striker on his card shout out to Zwayback. he must have pulled some strings to get that one done but that was pretty cool. But overall, I look at this team, Ronaldo as well. It just seems like, okay, it, it's decent. And uh, of course, they're kind of tough to pack too. Like they're actually really difficult to pack. I don't know if any of you guys hit them yesterday, but they really remind me of the team of the group stages from last week. When I take a look at their prices and their supply on the market, they're just, they're just rare. Like if we look at Dybala right now, how many pages we got? One, two, three, not even a full three pages of Dybala on the market right now. These cards, just like the team of the group stages from last week, are really rare, which means their pack weight is pretty low. Now, the mistake that EA made yesterday with the icons was one that was one of the craziest mistakes I've honestly ever seen. It was wild, guys. Uh, Fernando Torres, just to take a look at his icon card here really quick, he's actually just gone up about 100K. He was down at 1.1 mil. Looks like right now he's about 1.2. They removed his Finesse Plus play style, and they gave him Quick Step. That was the thing that I noticed the most about the icons that were dropped yesterday is that they did the most changing around with the stats and with the play styles and with the positions on the icons than anything else. Guys, we have a goalkeeper Van Nistelrooy. We have a goalkeeper Van Nistelrooy, right? He's 80,000 coins. He's actually minimum price right now. He should be cheaper than that. He's got 94 reactions, which means he actually might be cracked. They gave him two play styles as well. So definitely watch out for that card. Center attacking mid Van Basten. You've got Lineker, who's 91 rated. It was a left wing. You've got a striker Drogba. They kept him the same. Striker Pele. They kept him the same as well. And then you've got a center mid Ian Rush and a left mid Michael Owen. But the mistake that EA made with these cards yesterday, guys, is they were all... 10,000 coins price ranges like literally for the first two hours that they were in packs every single person that packed a tradable icon from winter wild cards could only list it up at 10,000 coins there were people that were able to snipe definitely with bots definitely with bots they were able to snipe 96 Pele we saw it on stream for 10,000 coins and then tried to list it up and sell it and take the product like it was absolutely crazy that that happened yesterday it was a crazy ea mistake i don't know if we'll ever see anything like that again and um yeah the people that that bought all those cards if you bought an icon for 10k you ended up making good profit right because all icons are way more than 10,000 coins but it's also just crazy that people were, were listing even thinking about listing those up for that price uh, at the time that that happened but of course the price ranges did get updated and one thing that i'll point out to you kind of like we just noticed with the van Nistelrooy is be very careful with the minimum prices on some of these. Like already Owen is 80,000 coins minimum price. We have icons that are cheaper than that from the Dynasty's promo. So I would expect that these cards would go down in price. And overall, the icon team 
it looks a kind of mid. I don't know. Like the, the icons that were released yesterday, of course, we have questions like where is the Raul? Where is the Hugo Sanchez? Where is the Garincha that was leaked? I mean, cool, we have Pele, but where are some of those other icons that we were also leaked and expecting to see were dropped in the game this weekend? Maybe they will be as a part of the mini release. Who knows? We'll have to see. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the question that we have with some of these icons right now. They have been decent to trade with, as you can see here with this Fernando Torres. He's starting to get a bit rare. I haven't watched the icon prices too much, but uh, if I see Fernando Torres for like 1.1 mil, like that one there was on bid, like I might get tempted and at least try to flip one of those because, you know, people might want to try that Fernando Torres and it's new cards. The prices do move a lot. And they did move a lot yesterday on the winter wild cards side of things as well. For the regular promo cards, there were some good flips to be had. I bought a Militao on a snipe at 770, sold it for 860. He ended up going even higher up in the 900,000 coin range. But really, let's start talking market. Let's talk about these cards because there was one pack yesterday that really shaped the market and especially the new promo cards and fodder is this pack that is in a lightning round right now. It's going to be going away soon. Is this deluxe 84 times 10? It's tradable and it gives you a really high percentage chance of packing a winter wild cards from 10 cards. You have a 17% chance. It's 100% tradable. And this is the reason why a lot of prices yesterday on the game, anything that was in packs really got hurt crazy bad in price like especially the fodder guys 84s are 1.5k they're almost minimum price 84s are 1.2k minimum buy it now they're 1.4k on the market right now it's crazy 85s were like five six thousand coins right they're 4k 86s are almost the price that 85s were they are seven and a half k because of all of the tradable supply that those bring in you think about an 84 times 10 you're going to pack a lot of 84s 85s and 86s and maybe the slight chance of a promo card but since you have all that fodder in there people think it's good value that it's worth it that it's worth the fc points only being 1500 those packs yesterday were very very popular and that's why like everything that was in packs got destroyed especially even the winter best of like fede valverde went down like 1.1 million coins um the team of the week graham hansen went down a ton davies went down a ton all those cards got supplied so much because of some saved up store packs but really because of that lightning round. So we have to really be careful to watch for this lightning round whenever it drops throughout this weekend. It's probably not going to have as of big of impact as it did the first time it was released. This is the second time that it's out right now that it's about to go away. But it definitely does impact the market every time that it is released. And with these winter wild cards, like I mentioned, they're rare. So I'm still very interested in trading with them. An example, like besides Militao of a card that moved yesterday, Rafinha was 420,000 coins, 420,000 coins, and he went all the way to 600K plus yesterday in a fluctuation. Check this graph out, 400K in that first hour, he exploded because he's rare, right? And also very meta. He was all the way up at 650. I even saw one sell at 700K. We were watching it on stream, and now he's back down to 479. Um, you know, we saw Ronaldo go up a million coins. He was 3.2, he went up to four. Um, let's see, Puteas was 1.8, she's up to 2.1 mil, and even the lower tier cards, Alex Balde started off the day at like 90k, and now he's 116. I do believe, like always, today on Saturday, these cards are going to dip, they're going to drop, maybe have a little bit of a rise in the morning, maybe not at all, and then they're going to drop off in value, but they're going to be so good to constantly be trading with and flipping because they are rare, just like the team of the group stages, guys. We made some coins on these yesterday, I did lose a couple coins on Urente and Dybala as well. I bought Dybala for 380. He went up to about 420. Thought he was going to go higher, so I didn't sell. And then, you know, 20, 30 minutes later, he's back down to 380 where I was able to sell him. And now he's like 360 or 370. So he's dropped off a bit more. But continue to watch these cards. They will be great to trade with. And like I mentioned, everything in packs got destroyed. Let me show you one card that really is hurting after yesterday's prices and all the supply that was out. Neymar went from, what was he, like 58K? He was 44,000 coins. Right now he's about 46K. He's back up just a little bit. But that card got destroyed yesterday. Alan St. Maximin literally went from 140,000 coins for his brand new Inform card. He's half of that now. He's like 75K or right around 70, 69,000 coins for a five-star, five-star Alan St. Maximin. Absolutely wild how much those 
lightning rounds really made prices drop yesterday and watch out for more lightning rounds today we didn't even get half of the crazy store packs that we're supposed to get packs that are going to guaranteed winter wild cards players and all that stuff so definitely keep an eye on the store this weekend as it's going to be a really crazy place now they did drop the 500k pack which of course gives you a crazy high 51 percent chance of winter wild cards but Still, the pack weight does not seem that good for the Winter Wild Cards items, so just be careful with that. And then let's talk out of packs, right? Because there were some cards yesterday that I was able to make coins on, and a lot of you guys probably did too, like the UCL heroes that went out of packs, the UEFA heroes, right? A Betty Pele was one that I bought at 610k and sold it for 670,000 coins. As we take a look at this promo team here, Schneider's up over 100k. Company is rising. McManaman is up like 10,000 coins. Tevez is up. Lisa Razu is up 40,000 coins per card. Alex Scott was 220. She's now 253. Plenty of examples of cards from the, Euro, the Euros. The, the Euro Heroes. The UEFA Heroes, I should say. And then also the team of the group stage cards. Musiala is up like 50K. Bellingham up 50K. Um, Gravenberch up. Alvarez up. Foden, Rose, 20K yesterday as well. Um, so many of these cards rose. And then if you look at the out of packs market, this is why I was really, really specific when I mentioned in a couple days ago's video about the market crash to buy the out of packs cards first, because those are going to be the ones that move up the most. Look at Holland. He was one, two. He's now 1.4. Reese James ended up doing really well yesterday. Teo Hernandez did well. He's up higher in price after being panic sold. And then even some other cards from out of packs. Uh, Araujo is up like 40K. Benzema is up. Kavicho went back up. Mazraoui is back up as well. Gavardiol is up. Um, I mean, we got examples. We could look through squads and, and players and lists in here for a long time. Nesta was 240. Now he's 278. So he's up in price. Varane is up. Um, stuff that is out of packs like Jesus is up. Frimpong went up a lot. Like there's so many examples of the market starting to bounce back. Now that'll continue if the content's not that great. If we have insane content like a crazy icon pack or stuff along those lines, then there's going to be some prices that will dip on the market and there might be opportunities to get in. And we're having player SBCs every single day. So today with Luis Hernandez, let's say he's a striker card, you know, that might hurt some strikers if his SBC is really insane and a lot of people want to do it. But we haven't had an SBC like that, especially after yesterday's SBCs. So we'll just have to see how the market continues to move, but it's going to be a wild place. Remember, Keep your eye on the lower tier. Like that Neymar for 40,000 coins seems like a pretty solid investment. After we get out of all these crazy packs for winter wild cards, people that want to log on the game and play that are getting the game for the first time, those are the types of cards that could continue to rise, those under 200,000 coin cards. Now, we've already mentioned it. The Luis Hernandez coming today. Let's talk more about today, right? That's next up. As we said, we're going to be looking at this graphic for like the next two weeks. That is next up. Luis Hernandez is an SBC that's coming today. Now, we could get some more content today as well. Like, guys, last year, actually, we had the mini release on Saturday, not Sunday. I think there's an opportunity for a mini release to come today as well. Um, cards that were leaked. I think Isak is the only one that I can remember that was leaked that is not in the promo team. But then those icons that we mentioned, like Raul and Hugo Sanchez, maybe they will drop a mini release of icons and players today. We will just have to see. But watch out for that. And then, of course... Evolution leaks, right? We've got still a lot of Evo leaks that are out there, even more now. Of course, we've got the Kyle Walker that is called Keep in Balance Evolution. It's 75k. It's paid. Kyle Walker's, like we said, probably going to go back up a little bit today, so people expect this SB or this Evolution to drop. Um, the Growth Spurt Evo is one that is still leaked, and then we have even two more, even uh, a Stop right there, which is a Striker Evo, and the second one is called Keep Up. Both have a maximum 85 overall rating. So. Guys, evolutions look like they're going to keep dropping during this promo, which I am not going to complain about because we love Evos. And especially if they're giving us a sick car design for these Evos, then I am all about it, right? So I love that. Um, continue to keep an eye on how this impacts the market because if it's a paid Evo, 75K for that Kyle Walker and other cards that could fit, that could hurt the market a little bit, especially in the right back position. So remember to be very careful with those cards. And then also what I want to shout is, a couple more upgrades that could be coming. The league upgrades actually expire today, and I hope that EA refresh it with new winter-themed upgrades like they did last year. We had league upgrade SBCs yes, last year, then they refreshed them with like winter league upgrades. I hope they do that again, maybe make them a little bit better or maybe easier to do. So I hope we get something like that today. And then also, I know that we've had like the radioactive 
uh, the, that whole crafting campaign that has now gone away. It's gone. There could be the re-release of um, the or the the release of that new one, the Winter Wild Cards crafting SBC. That might be today. It could be tomorrow as well. We still have an 82 plus player pick, but that expires. And then after that, we will have no upgrade packs besides the 87 or the 83 times 10 and the 87 mixed campaign. So hoping we get that crafting upgrade so that we can grind the lower tier part of those, get those packs working and get stuff moving as well. And then as always more store packs uh, for sure. So what I would tell you guys to do is if you want to trade with any of these winter wildcard items, keep a close eye on the market. They're rare. They fluctuate, but be careful because they probably will drop off today. Like I do feel like Adair Militao at 900K is definitely overpriced. And that's why like me sell, buying him for 770 and selling him for 860, I had no problem with that. I was able to get back out on the market, look for more cards to buy. But that one for me is just uh, very, very expensive. Ronaldo is expensive. Puteas is expensive. I love that Royce is cheap. Royce is, looks like a really, really fun card for a budget squad. 40,000 coins for a Royce that's got 82 pace. In the first touch play style, which isn't that insane, but he's got other good ones like Trivella, Whip Pass, and Finesse Shot. That's a dope looking card. The pace split's not really great, but still a dope card. So, again, I don't know. Yesterday just left me feeling like the content is decent so far, and I hope that it continues to grow. I hope it continues to get better. I hope we get good SBCs every single day. I hope they continue to build on that and a good mini release as well. I'd be very, very interested in seeing how this content kind of progresses over time. And especially as we get into, you know, Christmas and the days ahead, uh, what we have to look forward to there. One thing I will warn you guys about is this is what FIFA Trading Romania put out yesterday. He said that there should be a special release during Christmas. I don't know what that means. A whole nother team of Winter Wild Cards, like he said, team two, question mark. There will probably be more leaks around that, but that could create some more additional panic and could maybe also um, mean that more cards are going to be re-released in packs. Again, with so little information, it's hard to speculate and hard to know, but that is something that could be coming today as well. Oh, I didn't cover inform prices. That's one thing I wanted to look at. Inform prices, if any of you guys are investing there, they have dropped. I think it's really because of the supply yesterday, to be honest. The 84 times 5 went away. We still have the 83 times 10. And even with like Hullet and stuff requiring a lot of informs, there just weren't as many people doing that SBC or wanting to do it to make informs go up. So if informs drop a lot, you could maybe get involved with some bids as everybody needs informs for basically every single SBC. Uh, but I'm going to be staying away from that, at least for right now, until we get more SBCs that require informs that would maybe make them go up. I'm not going to be investing, especially when informs are 30K. It just feels weird. But hey, that's where they've been moving between like 25K and like 35K has been the inform fluctuation every single week so if they drop more today into tomorrow maybe there's an opportunity to get invested in there because i'm sure we're going to have more SBCs coming during winter wild cards since this is a big name promo from ea so hopefully they treat it like a big name promo drop us a wsbc today and uh yeah guys if you enjoyed the video drop thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new i'll see you guys in a video tomorrow it's been nathan with accountant see you there peace out